So one of the other things you may consider doing is copying a course. So for example, you've, you're finished with your course, I'll just take this one, and you want to use everything that you did from the year in the past quickly and easily, or at least you want the same kind of organizational structure. Copying your course is really quick and easy. When you're on the Google Classroom dashboard, all you need to do is click the three dimples, and you'll just choose copy as your option here. Now notice it's going to put in these words copy of here. So you'll probably want to change that and you may want to even include your section information for uh, the next school year. So you may even want to do, uh, I'll get rid of copy here and I'm just going to type in 2021-22. Just to make sure I don't uh, kind of confuse that with the course that I just created. Now, why would you want to do that? Now notice it's just going to create uh, you know, the, it'll clear out your rosters and all the announcements that you made, but it will keep the topics that you use from throughout the year. So if you use topics that were date related, that may be a little problematic. You may need to just go back and edit those as you go. But if you use topics uh, that were based around your unit planning, uh, that should kind of just carry through and be a great organizer for your students and you as you go throughout the year. So Copying your course can be um, very practical when it comes to that, but you don't have to do that. You could always just create a brand new course and you'll, you'll still have access to your old assignments uh, even if you archive your class from the previous year. So don't feel like uh, if you create a brand new course, you won't have access to old assignments and uh, ideas from the previous year. So I hope that made sense. So you can either copy your class to just bring over all the topics that you had from the year before, or you can uh, just create a new one.